so what is bom? What function does it have in music? Okay, if I'm, somebody says explain the form of the song, what do they actually mean? Okay, so tell me that. And um, we have vocal forms. These are all the ones, all the ones I've explained are vocal forms. Okay, just by the by. Okay, so I want you to go through every single one of them, but I'm going to actually just give you highlights so I can help you out too because it's quite a little. Okay, so blues forms. Okay, what's so fun about blues forms is they are repetitive, right? And there are two main ones. The one is more jazz. Okay, so don't worry about that one. Talk about the other two for me and sing me the examples of the songs that I gave you from those two examples. Okay, so if I say hmm hmm blues and hmm hmm blues, tell me about them and the songs that are associated with them in my example. Okay, there are obviously loads of examples of those. So those are blues forms. Then I want you to explain the difference between binary and ternary form for me. Okay. And you can use, again, examples of the songs that I've given you, but I want you to more explain the structure. As long as you understand the structure, then I'm cool. You can make up your own song for all I care, as in the side. You can. You can make your own song, okay, and explain it to me that way. Uh, tell me the difference between binary and ternary. Then, what is the difference um, between strophic, okay, so strophic, and verse-chorus song form? Because verse chorus song form is a type of binary strophic form. Okay, so what makes it different? Okay, and that is that. And then uh, basically, which one was used in folk songs and is the most basic? Right? Okay, you can sing the examples that I've given you, or you can make up your own examples. There are loads of examples out there online. You can Google, all right? Strophic form song example, and it'll give you a whole bunch of examples, all right? So don't just rely on the songs that I've given you, but obviously you can, okay?